Everything Top 10 is proud to present the top 10 things you didn't know about Christian McCaffrey. Number 10. His mom and dad also went to Stanford. Asked why he committed to Stanford when he had options like Notre Dame, Oregon, Wisconsin, Colorado, Florida State, and Nebraska, all power programs, McCaffrey said his heart led him there and that it felt like home when he visited. A huge part of this could be that both of his parents attended Stanford. His father, Ed McCaffrey, went there between 1986 and 1990. His mother, Lisa, also went there. The two actually met while at Stanford. His mother once joked that she married his father so they could breed fast white guys. From the looks of Christian, looks like they succeeded. Number 9. McCaffrey also played basketball and ran track in high school. He is one of the biggest breakout stars out of Colorado in the past few years. Even though he is best known for playing football as an NFL star, he also participated, and rather successfully so, in track and basketball. He stood out as a sprinter in his high school's track and field team, excelling in both the 100 and 200 meter dashes at the Colorado High School Activities Association state meets. He was also a standout basketball player, helping the Valor Christian High School boys team reach the state semifinals twice in a row. He also has musical skills and is reportedly an excellent pianist. Number 8. He comes from a family of sportsmen. His family is one of avid sportsmen and women. His father, Ed, famously played football in college and went on to be drafted by the Giants in 1991 in the third round. Ed McCaffrey played for the Giants for three seasons before moving on to the 49ers and later to the Broncos, where he made the Pro Bowl. His mother, Lisa, excelled in soccer, starring for Stanford between 1987 and 1990. His older brother, Max, also played football at Duke and for various NFL teams as a wide receiver. His younger brother, Luke, is also a football player, a quarterback at the University of Nebraska. It does not stop there, though. Relatives on both his father and mother's side have also been accomplished sports people. His grandfather, for instance, was once named the fastest human alive, breaking up to nine world records in the sprint and low hurdles categories in the 1950s. Number 7. McCaffrey does not discuss his extended family in interviews. Despite the sporting success of his extended family, it is strange that he does not discuss it in interviews. One of the conditions he and his parents often set in interviews is no extended family questions. In fact, even his parents often seem jumpy when questions about their extended family arise. Number 6. He was the king of workouts in college. While other athletes saw workouts as a necessary evil, with some actually getting in trouble for avoiding workouts, McCaffrey is one of those athletes that actually relished workouts at that age. His strength coach, Shannon Turley, is known for trying to break all the recruits over the course of their first year with grueling fitness tests. In all his years of experience, McCaffrey was the first player he could never rattle. His responses were apparently like a Navy SEAL forcing the coach to design workouts especially for him. Number 5. McCaffrey skipped his senior season to enter the NFL Draft. He made the decision to skip his senior season at Stanford, opting instead to enter the NFL Draft. He made the announcement in 2016, a decision that effectively saw him miss out on Stanford's Sun Bowl appearance. This decision was met with mixed reactions, with supporters generally agreeing that it was a smart decision, and those opposed seeing it as a selfish move that would likely set a precedent for other college players. Number 4. He is rumored to be dating swimsuit model Olivia Culpo. McCaffrey is a notoriously private person. He is, however, rumored to be dating swimsuit model and Maxim's 2019 hottest woman, Olivia Culpo. Rumors of this relationship, however, elicited a response from Olivia Culpo's ex, Danny Amendola. The Lions wide receiver apparently responded by posting a picture with McCaffrey's ex-girlfriend. Number 3. McCaffrey loves Doritos. When he got into the league, he started working with a chef who helped him streamline his diet. He is, however, allowed some cheat meals, and one guilty pleasure he often ends up going for is Doritos. He basically loses his self-control with Doritos and has confessed to being able to eat an entire king-size bag of Cool Ranch Doritos. Number 2. He holds the NCAA All-Purpose Yards record. He had a huge season in 2015, breaking out as a sophomore that year. He managed to break Barry Sanders' NCAA record, which stood at 3,250, finishing with 3,864 yards. He was second in the country in terms of rushing yards with 2019, becoming the first ever player at Stanford to rush for 2,000 yards in a season. During his Stanford years, he also set such records as the most rushing yards and all-purpose yards in a single game. He also set further records in the Rose Bowl game in 2016, with a record 368 all-purpose yards. Number 1. 
McCaffrey is a staunch Christian. He has stated before that one of the sources of motivation for him is his faith. He went to a Christian school and has even spent time on international missions. In 2013, he spent the summer on a mission trip to Rwanda. Even his normal touchdown celebration, where he beats his chest and points up to God, shows his avid faith. That's all folks. Please leave a like if you enjoyed the video and comment down below which NFL player you want to see us make a video about next. Make sure you subscribe to us as well. Also, tell us if you think Christian McCaffrey is the best running back in the NFL. See you next time.